Hello. I don't know. Am I on? Am I live? Yeti output. Whoa. Okay, let's see. Oh. Alright. Whew. I'm tired. <laughs> hey guys. Uh, uh yeah. So I'm tired. <laughs> And today is my mom, my um, my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, mom! So, yeah, we just so this entire day today has been pretty packed. Uh, so, woke up late, <laughs> went to round one to do some dance for stardom, got my mom a present, uh, and then we went out to eat lunch at Chinese First Barbecue, which is one of my favorite places to go eat. And then, after that, went home, rested a bit, and then we went to night mass at my church. And then, uh, yeah, which leads me to here. I just, I got out of the shower, like, uh, um, some of the cards I ordered from TCG Player came in. And I'm like, oh, cool. So I got those cards, updated three of my decks. Uh, the three decks were, uh, Forticia for Lyrical Monasterio for the standard format of Cardfight Vanguard. And then... The last two decks were the premium format of Cardfight Vanguard, which was Flagberg Premium and Loris Premium. Now, if you guys don't know what the heck I just said, that's fair. It's like Cardfight Vanguard lingo. <laughs> and I am a big, big fan of Cardfight Vanguard. Like, um, I learned about the newest Lyrical Monasterio set coming out next year, and I'm like, for English, because I think it's already out. Because the theme for the Lyrical Monasterio set that's coming out for us here in the United States of America... Uh, it's Halloween themed, so Japan already got their Lyrical Monastery set. Now we're a U.S., all other English-speaking countries are just waiting for theirs. Um, and then, uh, there has been announcements from Bushy Road saying that, uh, oh, we're gonna be reprinting some cards that need to be reprinted. Some of them will have alternative arts, like, uh, there's like Diabolos Girls, Natalia, that's like the front trigger that if your opponent's Vanguard is great through your gets plus 5,000 shield. Like, bro, it's, it's pretty... It's pretty nice. Like, some of the alternative arts for some of the uh, existing cards, it's amazing. But, before I get into that, I just want to do this. Hey! <laughs> BM002606, thank you so much for the follow. Apparently, this amazing person has followed me yesterday, and I did not notice it. Um, I'll have to check my live scene to see if I have the alert box enabled, but... I didn't know this person followed me yesterday, so thank you so much for the follow. Hooray! <laughs> um, so today, yeah, we're just going to get into it. We got some uh, more Japanese to learn, uh, and we're going to play some more Super Mario RPG. Um, hopefully internet won't go out like it did yesterday for me, twice, but yeah. So I'm excited. I, I really, so far with Super Mario RPG, the remake, it's so good. Like, it added so many elements that... Uh, makes the game better. I, I think it also took out a little bit of some of the elements, too, that made it fun. For example, um, you could dash while running. I don't know if I missed a certain step in the game that tells you you could do that, but I can certainly tell you I haven't found the button because I was finagling with my Nintendo Switch Pro controller, and I don't think there is a button to enable you to sprun. Because in the original version for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, there is a button that you press and hold to speed up. So far, what I've discovered is that there is a button to make Mario walk. And I'm like, so instead of speeding up Mario, they just decided to make him slow. And I'm like, okay then. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, but hey, no, are you for real? No! I'm dropping frames, guys. I'm sorry. I'm dropping frames. Ooh, that's worrisome. It seems like the internet's probably gonna go out. No! I don't want it to go out. No, 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 no. But, yeah. Uh, excited for next week. Next week's gonna be fun. I am gonna start preparing for Japan tomorrow. Start, like, packing up stuff. Uh, cross my T's. Have a full week of packing to make sure I got everything. And then I'll be out to Japan next Saturday. It's finally here. It's, it's here. Um, I'll be posting some YouTube videos and some, like, probably some YouTube shorts or stuff about my time in Japan. Uh, 
Whether or not I will continue with my demo reels, like two, I usually post like two demo reels every day. Um, I don't know if I'll be posting those while in Japan. And if I do, it's going to be very awkward because I'll be with my friends and I'll be like, guys, can you be quiet? I need to record some demo reels. And I know for a fact that as the good friends they are, they probably won't be quiet when I'm recording. Um, so <laughs> I'm probably just, probably there won't be any demo reels while I'm in Japan, but I'll probably try and post some shorts or something. It's like, oh, look, I'm here in Nihongo. Uh, the, the closer it is to the date that I go to Japan, the more I get nervous because like, sure, I've been learning Japanese on the past couple of my streams, but it's not enough to, for like conversational Japanese or to like have a long in-depth conversation in Japanese is just, hi. Um, I try, like I try, like Nihongo Muzukashi, like I can't, I can't, <laughs> uh, I can't really like form full sentences in Japanese. I can only do like simple words like Anata wa kire desu I don't know. Like you're beautiful and stuff like that. So that's the one thing I'm nervous about while going to Japan. Um but hopefully things work out. Uh I need to do some prep. I really do need to I really need to do some prep. Uh and the thing is is I'm gonna try and finish Super Mario RPG like before I go to Japan because I want to because I I want to stream a game that just came out and just finish it. Like, I know there's Genshin Impact, and then there's other games that have come out, but... And I've completed, like, the Shantae series, like, I have on stream. But the thing is, is, like, I haven't played a game that just came out on stream till just now. Super Mario RPG is the first video game I've played on Twitch where the game just came out, like, the game came out on Friday, and I got the game, I set up my video capture card, and I started playing it. Like, it's the first time I got a game, like, a brand new, fresh game, fresh off the video game companies, and I'm streaming it. So, yeah, we'll get into it. Uh, just let me know if the volume's too loud, because right now, the background audio that you're hearing is, of course, one of a million watching streams, but it is live. So, right now, what you're listening to, if you can hear it, um, this is the Watch Along at Demolition Man 1993, uh, for Amelia Watson. Uh, I already submitted my super sticker and my gifted membership already, <laughs> like, the, cause it, the stream started at 7pm, and I was like, alright, I mean, I'm probably not gonna watch Demolition Man 1993, like, I'm more, most likely not going to do that, <laughs> because I want to be streaming, so... <laughs> I just want to support. I just want to show support for my favorite uh, virtual tuber in Hollow Light English. So, I mean, I plan to probably eventually become a novelite or a novel knight for like Shiori because I'm like, okay, after Amelia Watson, who is the next person that like I vibe with the most? And I think it would be Shiori Novella, <laughs> and it's like fudge. And then there are Twitch streamers. Uh, there are so I'm already subscribed to like three streamers, <laughs> um, but I just recently, yeah, recently this week I be I subscribed to Milky Ways. Uh, if you guys don't know who Milky Ways is, she is a very Terrible. unique virtual tuber. I think she's beautiful, uh, and of course those that know me will know why. <laughs> I really like Milky Ways, uh, or take a wild guess as to why I like Milky Ways. I, I am subscribed to Tier 1, but I'm probably going to go up to Tier 3, because I'm like, man, because, <clears throat> so, in my eyes, there's like a difference between virtual tubers on YouTube and then virtual tubers on Twitch. Like, I don't know why. So, uh, for me, th like, my brain, how I see it, because I know virtual tubers is just one thing, but then there are two platforms that they stream on, which is Twitch and YouTube, um, and in my brain, I just see virtual tubers in YouTube as one separate entity, and virtual tubers on Twitch as a separate entity. The it's like I just separated. I made like two sections for virtual tubers, like Twitch, YouTube, and I'm like, okay. So for the YouTube virtual tubers I support, it's like Hollow Live and yeah, sprinkle in some Niji San Sanji. And then for Twitch, it's like independent virtual tubers like Milky Ways and a little bit of V Shoujo. 
Um, and then Kawa Entertainment, like sprinkle a little bit of Kawa Entertainment. Like I interacted with one of them. You can find that YouTube video somewhere on my YouTube channel. I don't know where it is. Uh, it's for Pia, Pia P UFO. It's the Slime Girl. And if you guys know me, Slime Girls are best girls. <laughs> Disgusting? Yes, I know. I'm a degenerate, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You can go the whole route of why I'm disgusting, but either way, I do like PRP UFO. Unfortunately, I don't know what's been going on, but uh, like Kawa Entertainment is one of the virtual tuber agencies that I haven't really kept up with. Um, the only virtual tubers I keep up with from that company is PRP UFO, and I haven't seen her stream in a while, which kind of concerns me. Uh, Milky Ways, I've seen her stream. And I've seen the clips of Milky Ways, and of course Milky Ways has a YouTube channel. I've gone on her YouTube channel to watch some of the videos. I've also watched Clippers simply posting Milky Ways reacting to memes. And I don't know what it is, but I just enjoy watching her react to memes. Her laugh is infectious. Like if I thought Amelia Watson's like personality was infectious, or she Ori's personality is infectious, Milky Ways is infectious. And apparently just like Amelia Watson, Milky Ways has been streaming for about three years. Like, there was a three-year milestone mark where they sent a Milky Ways plushie into space and let it fall down to Earth. And I was like, oh, and, well, during that entire time, there was, like, a little heartfelt message being read while the plushie was tumbling into orbit. It was very interesting, and, um, I think it was cool. I would love to see more of Milky Ways content and support Milky Ways. Um, and also, she... She be my type, just saying. <laughs> and be my, and as in type, it's just like, um, specific aspects of uh, females that interest me. There we go. We'll say that. We'll say that. Just to keep it family friendly. <laughs> Real estate. There we go, I guess. Um, but I, I also discovered the other day, I was, I was looking through my Instagram, and I just like ter clicked on the search bar. And in the search bar usually pops up with random posts. And there was an interesting post that, uh, like, picked my interest. Uh, I know it was redundant, but I looked. And I believe... Hold on, I gotta, I gotta find it. I'm gonna do a special shout-out. Although, I know, like, I'm not famous, but... Hold up. Yeah, there it is. Oh my gosh, someone did a Shiori novella animation of her cutting her bra strap. <laughs> Oh man, that's how much of a degenerate I am. Like, when you open Instagram and you see just the Shiori novella cut her bra strings. <laughs> it's an Instagram reel by West underscore 808. Oh, that was a wild way to open Instagram. Anyway, to the point. To the point. Um, I need to find... There, it was actually, it was a comic. It's Dr. Loops. That's right. I'm just gonna say it. I'm not, I'm not putting it in stream chat or anything, but... So, it's Dr. Loops. Uh, I was going through Instagram. I was like, went on the search bar to search for a friend. And then I got distracted by a comic panel. And I clicked on it. And it was by the Instagram account, it's Dr. Loops. And <laughs> this will further show how much of a degenerate I am. But it's a basically, it's basically just a comedy comic of three lewd nurses. <laughs> From what I've seen, it's two lewd nurses, and it's just every single, like, post on Instagram, like, having that little four-panel comic of the three lewd nurses, like, what is it, like, it's like Ashley, Veronica, and, hold up, They're, I know their names, let me see, ah, it's like Ashley, Veronica, and Mona, yeah, there we go, Ashley, Veronica, and Mona, I, it's mainly... Veronica and Mona, from what I've seen, Ashley's just like the third party. From what I understand, I just recently discovered them on Instagram. So it's Dr. Loops. Feel free to look at your own discretion. Um, and I'm, I, I literally went through there, I looked at all the Instagram posts, because each Instagram post has a four-panel comic. It's so it's like lewd comedy, and I think it's so funny and so interesting that I just ended up going through all of their posts, liking every single one of those posts, and on the latest post that they posted today, I liked it and said, I just discovered you guys and I love your content. <laughs> I was like, I don't know why, I just love it. It's so, it's so funny and it's lewd. <laughs> I don't know, it's just like, they, they, they make lewd comedy funny. And I was like, oh my gosh, they, they did something good. So, 
There's Dr. Loops. It's Dr. Loops on Instagram. Feel free to check it out. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I, I plan to support Milky Ways because, I don't know, like, just like Amelia Watts, like, I've talked to this with other people. Like, I watch, like, I've, I've, just, I've gone, I'm going through a phase of just watching virtual tuber clips, and I've been watching so much of, like, Hololive, and then a couple of Milky Ways and Cinder, if you know who Cinder is. But um, the crazy thing is that, excuse me, oh, food today was good. Um, the crazy thing is like, uh, even though I watch so many virtual tuber clips online, when I go to the source material, I always end up going to Amelia Watson's VODs or... Milky Way's vods, <laughs> or people that clip Milky Way stuff. I, I don't know. Just so far, now that I think about it, Milky Ways and Amelia Watson are like the two virtual tubers that I'm very much like leaning towards. Like whenever I need to think, find something to just kill time, something to just turn my brain off to and enjoy. Um, the virtual tuber wise, I just go to Amelia Watson or Milky Ways. It's oh, and then occasionally sprinkle in a bit of Cinder and Monarch. Or Amalie. It's great. But anyway, that's my little stance on VTubing right now, uh, in terms of my fandom my 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 fanboying sense, like the virtual tubes I'm really into. Um hopefully the audio is not too loud. Please let me know if it is. Um But anyway, uh yeah. Oh, snap. I didn't even set... Uh, I'll set that up later. <laughs> I forgot to plug my switch into the outlet over there, but it's whatever. I'll, I'll plug it in later. Um, 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 um. I, think, I think that covers everything. So we'll, we'll just...